Okay, welcome back to the third and final video of this series, which shows you how your GED can take you to study in Switzerland. Yes, that is correct. Switzerland. Where in Switzerland? At IMI. That's the International Management Institute. Now, if you missed the first couple of videos in this series, you can go back to the playlist on YouTube and see them there. But I'll, I'll give you a quick overview of what we've already looked at. So we talked about how IMI has a very unique educational experience and it's one of the top ranked hospitality schools in the world. Uh, we talked about the beautiful environment there in Luzern in Switzerland with Lake Luzern, the beautiful mountains, the fresh air. We talked about the, the diverse student population at the university. And we talked about Swiss quality, how Swiss degrees are recognized all around the world and respected for the quality that they have. We also talked about the different undergraduate programs, the BA programs. We talked about the, the Swiss programs, the advanced diploma for that as well, the postgraduate programs, such as the master's degrees and the postgraduate diplomas that you can do, okay? We talked about why uh, IMI has academic excellence. Also talked about if culinary, if you want a career in, in culinary, uh, you know, being a head chef in a five-star hotel, for example, this could be the place for you as well. But remember, it's not only about culinary at this place. It's about building skills uh, of leadership. It's about build, building skills of management and many other things as well. Um, also, we talked about how you... Uh, Every six months, you will do an internship, whether that be in a hotel in Switzerland or abroad. And the internship you are paid for, you're paid lots of lovely, delicious money for these internships. And yeah, you'll be surprised how much you can earn. We also talked about IMI's network of partners, which are very impressive, such as the Hyatt, the, the Marriott, the Ritz-Carlton, and the Mandarin Oriental, and lots of other companies as well. Okay, now we'll start off the new material today, just by talking a little bit about the campus accommodation, because this is a question that students always have. Where will I be staying? What is it like? And is it as nice as my mum and dad's house? Okay, that's what people always say. So have a look at this picture here. You can see this girl uh, all dressed up in her uniform. This is the uniform that girls have to wear to IMI. Boys have to wear a suit. Okay, and some people like that. Some people might, might go, mm. but guys, get used to it. Okay, you have to wear a suit. You have to wear business clothes, formal clothes in the world of work. Okay, so this just prepares you for what lies ahead. And it's a very comfortable uniform and looks pretty cool too. But look at this room. Okay, look at this room. In here, it looks like a five-star hotel itself. You've got beautiful view outside of the mountains. Lake Luzern will be down below. You could open those windows in the morning and breathe in lungfuls of sweet, sweet, sweet Swiss air and then munch on a big Swiss chocolate bar for breakfast. That's what I would do. Okay, so these rooms are all newly refurbished and all of them are on campus, okay? None of them are in Luzern town. Everything is on campus. So you don't have to waste money and waste time traveling to and from you know, the town itself to the campus, to university. Everything's there, so you can just walk everywhere and yeah, enjoy the natural surroundings. You can, there's a choice of single room, twin rooms, and there's either private or shared bathrooms. There's Wi-Fi everywhere, there's, uh, there's IT support, there's also gy a gym, library, a training restaurant, recreation ar area, and many other facilities too. So it looks pretty cool to me. Meals, so what will you eat? This is another question that students often have. Uh, you get breakfast, lunch, and dinner provided Monday to Friday for students staying on campus, okay? So you don't even have to cook yourself. You don't have to go to the supermarket if you don't want to. You've got three square meals a day to feast upon and meet lots of new people and forge lots of cool new relationships with people from around the world, okay? You've got brunch and dinner on the weekends. So you've got two meals at the weekend on public holidays. Also, there's a free dining Swiss room restaurant available free of charge to students each lunchtime. So in this Swiss room restaurant, you can go in there and sample some of the delights that the, the student uh, chefs have been cooking. Okay, so you can tell them how amazing their food is or if they need to try a little bit harder. And also, all di dietary requirements are catered for by the team of professional chefs. So if you've got any allergies, then that will be taken care of too. Now, events. Students often ask, what, what can we do there? You know, it's in Luzern. It's, 
but overlooking Lake Lutzer, what can we do for fun, you know? Uh, there's regular academic visits to local hotels, producers, and industry events. Okay, so as part of your course, you'll be visiting hotels, restaurants, meeting producers, you know, forging relationships, meeting new people, and finding out how this industry really works from the people who know. Dedica there's a dedicated student social committee. Okay, so these will be a group of students on the committee. You could be one of these if you wanted, if you put your name forward. And you can organize events, social events, for uh, the students on the campus. So you could have live music events, you could have um, games events, you could have sports events, whatever. The sky's the limit. You're only limited by your imagination when it comes to that. Also, there's a ski trip, theme park visit on a sports day each semester. Sounds good to me again. Also, there's a cultural showcase event, an international night. This is a night where everyone gets dressed up in their traditional clothes from their country and perhaps brings along uh, a traditional dish, helps cook something from their ho home country, and then everyone meets together and shares stories about where they come from, the culture that they know and love, and yeah, you can learn and grow a lot from uh, nights like this. Okay, so... Next thing I want to show you is a video. It's a campus showcase video. Okay, this will give you an idea of how beautiful, how beautiful this campus in IMI really is. Here we go. So there you go, guys. You can see everything from that video. You can see the beautiful campus. You can see some of the activities that you, you can do. You can see the lovely restaurants, the food, the camaraderie that goes on among the students, the lovely formal uniforms, and just that professional level of Swiss expertise that you will experience when you go to IMI. Okay, so that, that ends the video, almost. The last thing I want to focus on here is just to show you a few of the things you can do while you're there. Here we go. Okay, so if you look here, some other activities in and around Luzern. You have cable cars, um, you have a famous lion monument here, which you can explore, which was something to do with a Swiss soldier who went to fight somewhere abroad and there was a lion given as a present or something like that. You can search that one yourself. Um, you can see beautiful little town here, uh, boat excursions, get into the mountains, more cable cars, train journeys, boat journeys, go skiing. Yeah, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Look at that train. It's just hanging on to the edge. That's pretty cool. Uh, lots of uh, food experiences to be had and lots more as well. So guys, if you think Lutzern is the one for you, okay, just you can let us know, okay? Let us know here at Phuket Pal. Send us a direct message. You can send us one through YouTube or through Facebook. And we're more than happy to have a consultation with you about uh, IMI and what it can do for you. So I hope you've enjoyed these three videos. I'll leave it there. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.